truck show. And uh, why don't you go ahead and introduce yourself, sir? I'm uh, Don Emmons, Chesterfield, Illinois. Okay, very cool. Um, what do you do? Uh, we haul a lot of uh, milk, milk replacer to dairies out in West Texas, New Mexico, and then we usually haul meat back. Okay, very nice. Now tell us about this truck that we're standing in front of. Uh, some folks probably really want to understand what you got there. Well, it's got a 79 Freightliner, got a 400 Big Cam 3 Cummins in it, 13 speed, 355 rear ends. Very cool. Now, um, how long have you owned this truck? Uh, found it in September. Yeah. Up in north northeastern Indiana. Okay. So tell us that story. You said you found it. Well, me and my wife, we was in Texas. And I was scrolling through Facebook one day, and I seen this for sale. <laughs> I, told, I told my youngest, well, my oldest son, yeah. I said, hey, when you get home, go check that thing out. And if it's good, I said, bring it home. Yeah. So he went and looked at it. I mean, it was didn't have no exhaust. I mean, nothing. Just uh -huh. had, had a little five-inch pipe on the back of the frame coming okay. behind the cab. And I mean, the interior, I mean, it's uh -huh. looked like the birds have been in there, had squirrel stuff in the interior. Okay. Yeah, it's, but it's been, it's been something. Yeah, so it was a, it was a project and a half, huh? Yes. Okay, so tell us as we walk around and look okay. at some things, tell us about uh, some of the things that you guys have done. Well, I left the old center point steering on it. Okay. Which we, it's got, it's got power steering on it now. Mm -hmm. I mean, I just, I left that, because that's, I mean, that's the way it was back in the day. Mm -hmm. uh, the stripes. Tony Henrietta from up home, he's a vinyl guy, he did the stripes, which I wanted like an old Freightliner thing. He said, oh, so leave me alone, leave me alone. He said, I'll, I'll do something cool. And I said, okay, I'm gonna trust you. He said, I won't see it till you're done. Mm -hmm. And he done that. And uh, BMR done my polishing. Okay. His white Freightliner signs got them out of the junkyard. Which this is right there, and I guess that time between 78 and 79, because inside a lot of stuff still says white Freightliner on it. Mm -hmm. So I thought, well, that's cool. I'll just leave it, it there. And uh, was that a fluke that you found those at the junkyard, or what? Well, yeah, kind of, yes. You see, I wanted a white Freightliner deal for the front of the cab, you know, in yep. front of the cab. Well, I got one. Well, it's, they're a lot smaller. So I had a buddy of mine there at home. He built me a back panel, and I stuck it in, in that back panel. Okay. Yeah, we did all exhaust, deck plate, I mean, everything. Mm -hmm. Then when I put that insulation board in the side there and there's a doghouse, that was that was a chore. Mm -hmm. 56 years old, kind of, you know, I'm sitting on top of a motor, it's kind of, wow. Didn't have any grandkids around to get up in there and do that for no, you or what? I thought my boys were going to do it, but they was all out trucking. So okay, didn't. all right. They get a pass. Yeah, they get a pass. That box, it came out of the junkyard. Because it had no battery box, it had no... Oh, a classic I got that mm -hmm. other side off of, but it didn't have no battery box or nothing on it. Yeah. Now, if you don't mind me asking, because you know, a lot of folks, we, we love old stuff, and mm -hmm. and it seems like Facebook Marketplace got the best of you yeah. in terms of, you know, you're looking for things and whatnot. What did you pay roundabout for this? Uh, 18000 Okay. Very nice. It's got Volvo suspension on it. Now, why go with a Volvo suspension? Well, because back in the day, see, they had the Spring Rider had that old donut suspension, mm -hmm. no air ride, which okay. I think you've seen that before, ain't you? Mm, I never heard it called a donut suspension. It's just kind of, you know. Oh, like yes, double, yes, it just yes. Cur curls over like that? Yeah. yeah. Okay. But uh, Volvo and uh, Freightliner air ride is probably two of the best riding, riding okay. air rides you can get. Yeah, I, I, I agree with you. You know, I've yep. driven a. I can't believe I'm going to say this on camera, but I've, I've worked for uh, one company and they had Volvo trucks and mm -hmm. it was a good ride. You know, yes. I didn't work there for very long, but, you know, I did not complain about the, oh, having no. a comfortable ride. Yep. Didn't look cool go down the road, but the ride <laughs> was good. good. didn't I? Yes, they did. And nut covers, I mean, I nut covers, I mean, that's just the thing we, we always done back in the day, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? Yeah. My youngest son, he did all the pinstriping. Okay, very good job. Mm -hmm. He always tells you, I got to be in the mood to do that. Which he did about half of this and he quit because he got shaky and then he come back mm -hmm. about a week later and finished yeah. it. So why green? Well, I don't, I really can't tell you. I just, 
something we went with. Okay. That looks good. It certainly caught my attention when you guys were getting it ready the other day. Yep. And uh, what's the, uh, the story behind Power? this? Yeah. Well, that's that, that's that George Strait song. Okay. So I thought, you know, it kind of kind of fits me. Okay. So how long you been trucking for? Since, well, I mean, when I was a little kid, I mean, I used to drive with Dad, you know, but mm -hmm. on my own since 1990. Okay. Very nice. What's your favorite thing on the, the truck that you guys have done? Man, I think just, I don't know. I mean, pinstriping's cool. Just everything, I guess. I mean, I just, I just love these old freight liners. Mm -hmm. I grew up in, I grew up in old cab over freight liners. Uh -huh. Can we take a look on the inside? Yes, sir. She's still all of, get this sign out of your way. No, she's still all original inside except for the carpet. So these door panels. That, that's right, though. Yeah, that's what come out. That is cool. What'd you guys uh, treat them with? Looks really I just good. kept scrubbing them with 409 and okay. just other, other stuff. You know, really she's good. all original. You know what's weird about this one? The 79 I had, it didn't have the gauges up here above the with the sun visor. Uh -huh. And then in the bunk, usually you're, uh, like we you hang your clothes, put your bags and stuff, mm -hmm. it's usually over on the passenger side. Well, this one is on the on the driver's side. Okay. So I tell you what, this is, uh, this interior is in a good condition. You guys are See, in that old steering wheel. See, I don't want to change that either. That's original. It's got some cracks, but it don't bother me. But it's, it looks like it's got a shade of green, though. Yep. Yep. No, that's, uh, I would keep it too, because oh, again, yeah. you can, that's something to, to add to the story of the truck that it's yes. original. Mm -hmm. uh, yes, how many is. speeds is it? Uh, 13 speed. Okay. No, none of the gauges worked when I got it. None of the dash lights, but mm -hmm. I just kept tinkering with stuff and got her, okay. got her going. Okay. So there's a photo, I didn't get a chance to post it yet, but I'll probably post it at some point. Uh, tell the folks that may not know about what's going on down here. Uh, I imagine a lot of people understand what that is, but for the well, folks that don't. Well, back in the day, before IFTA come out, you had bingo stickers. Mm -hmm. And then you'd, you'd have, well, like now you only got one IFTA sticker. Well, you may have 15 of them, mm -hmm. but that's just your old bingo, bingo cards. And a friend of mine, he found a guy up in, uh, I can't remember if he's up in North, Northern Illinois or where he's at, but he uh, had them made for me. Okay. Now, was that the official name, Bingo Cards? I think so, yes. Yeah, okay. Yeah, they used to be on back trailers a lot. Okay. You see them on old trailers. That visor, that got the 12 gauge. See, it didn't have, when I got it, it didn't have one. Uh -huh. looks good so what are the overall plans for the truck you know after you guys have gotten it finished what are you gonna do with it I am going west with it next week yeah. Texas bound okay now, I'll and I'll tell you a funny story what's that well it didn't have a mattress or nothing in it <laughs> and uh, back in the back interior well like squirrels had nuts and stuff down there so I clean all that crap out and put new uh, insulation uh -huh. but I bought a pillow top mattress for it you know how they come and they're all sucked in that deal? Mm -hmm. Yep. Well, I got it up in there and I cut that plastic and exploded while I had it upside down. And that is a job getting that dude flipped back over. It's, it's a pain. <laughs> it was a pain. <laughs> again, again, that's where, that's where uh, the grandkids, someone on the smaller side, you know, they do that. how hard it was to make a bed in there. Oh, yeah. They had made one of the cabbers since those in my early 20s. Oh, yeah. Right on. Well. And I made that bed. Just lay on top and I'll cover up. Yeah. Well, this is a beautiful truck. I uh, thank you for taking some time to tell us all about it. Yep. And um, hopefully we'll see it again at some other show soon. Yep. Thank you. All right. Well, we'll see you. Okay.